Hi, everyone. It is November 9. It is 9.50 p.m. on the East Coast. What is happening here? Right here. Well, I don't know, but very powerful frequencies are being set off uh, in the Atlantic off the Long Island coast. Long Island, New York, which is right here. Along with these extremely low frequencies being set off, which seem to be set off perhaps from a ship we have a very dangerous world now and nothing is slowing down The agendas are ramping up. We've got these microwaves over here in uh, Michigan. This is a steady, I don't know, extremely low frequency shot that is always there, but this one here in Wisconsin. I've been noticing for the past two nights. And we have a shot right through upstate South Carolina. Right where I live. What are they doing? No one can know. All we can do is speculate. But it's not good because these frequencies, they are using them as a weapon. And many are experiencing the consequences. And it's not just weather events, but many are experiencing the physical, the emotional, the mental, spiritual, psychic consequences of these frequencies. So this is California. And Ventura County is up here. I'm going to show you what I caught earlier. Actually, it was last night. Oh, I can't even remember, but I'll get the date on it. Um, what is going on? Now, I have seen people leave comments. These are search beams. Really? We never had search beams before? Um, I think people are suggesting that they're searching for something from the radar stations. That's all it is. I'm afraid that is not all it is. Because if that were the case, then we would be seeing this and we would have seen it throughout the years and we would be seeing it all over the place. And we don't. We've got these ultra low frequencies that when I say ultra low, I mean extremely low. So um, that have been nonstop up here in Montana. But you're getting a lot of manufactured snow, and so is Canada, which if at the end I have any time, I'll go to IntelliCast to show you. But all of the weather that you see on IntelliCast, all of it is manufactured 
manipulated. You can see the microwaves right here. Yes, they can use microwaves, they can use extremely low frequencies, they can use the radar uh, to create, to modify, to manipulate, to intensify weather events. The frequencies don't seem to be all that intense right now. around California. I, I'm finding very strange anomalies lately, like this, what, band of precipitation that just sits there? A straight band? Really? I don't think so. But Houston I guess you have decided to turn off your intense frequency beams that were being shot out of this area 24-7 for a good two weeks, if not two and a half weeks. But you do have that laser shot or extremely low frequency shot. Right here. Um, this I need to show you. Sustained extremely low frequencies. This is California. And this was the date. All right. 11 8. Yes, last night. 23.52. So it was uh, just before midnight. A few minutes before midnight. But watch. This is Ventura County right up here. I hope you can see my cursor, my pointer. Ventura County, these are the islands the uh, off the coast. Watch how the rain that is coming in does not get in. They stop the rain. You have the sustained extremely low frequencies right here. And you have precipitation that wanted to come across, but it was blown to bits. It just so happens to be right in this area where the wildfire is out of control. And you have dry and windy conditions. OK. I, this is getting hard. This is getting hard, guys. I want to show you this. Wildlife officials in BC are trying to figure out why dozens of birds literally dropped from the sky dead. Witnesses say they'd never seen anything like it. And as the CBC's Bell Puri reports, people are sharing their theories about what happened. That's the way I could describe it. It was kind of like an Alfred Hitchcock weird, literally. It's hard to believe what happened, except for hints on the ground. It was last Friday at dusk. All of a sudden we've seen birds doing like loop-de-loops and all sorts of, you know, flying around and literally just turned around and went right into the ground. Kevin Beach and his pal Sean Phillips were driving when the flock of birds fell out of the sky and hit the pavement. The pair pulled over to investigate. The birds were twitching and they were in blood spots, you know, like uh, little pools of blood here and there. Like they were, they were, they hit the ground hard, you know, they were, they were dead. So, you know, there was no survivors. They basically all just right into the ground. Some of the casualties can still be found at a pullout along the busy causeway from the Tawasin Ferry Terminal. The Canadian Wildlife Service confirmed something did happen here. Biologists refer to it as a mortality event. Some of the bird carcasses were collected and sent to an animal health lab for post-mortem analysis. At the nearby bird rehab centre, staff think they might know what happened. Most of the flocking birds at this time of year um, because they're getting pushed down by weather, 
Um, sometimes there's phenomenons where they will not only be stressed but malnourished, and that can okay. also. I have to stop. This man is not using his brain. Malnourished, uh, weather events pushing them down. Would they all die instantly? No. What can do that are these birds being hit with frequencies. That is the reason why you see flocks of bird drop out of the sky. And then there's another reason. People are writing on Facebook all of the reasons why they ate poisonous uh, berries or really so they would all drop dead at the same time all come crashing down to a street at the exact same time I don't understand how people uh, can come up with this these reasons it drives me nuts um, they would all be dying at different times if they were malnourished, if they were eating some poisonous berry. So we know that we have created an extremely dangerous environment with all life dying. And when we see these events with all of these birds, just they yeah, I'm pretty sure they were hit by a frequency. Okay. Has anyone heard from Jane Tandy? I cannot get on her Facebook. I had someone send me the link, and I click on it, and it says page unavailable. Then I just tried to... Uh, get it through a search, and when I go to the Facebook, all I see are posts from 2015, and I can't get to any other posts. Has anybody heard from Jane? I would really like to know. I haven't heard anything. These, this, this is Ventura County, where Jane lives. Anybody who could think that these are um, natural fires? Well, I don't know what's wrong with people's brains. I just don't get it. This is paradise. I'm sorry. Um, if you want to watch live, CBS has live coverage of these fires in Ventura County in Malibu and I stopped it right when they said no one has died maybe they were referring to these fires in Malibu in in Ventura County I had to stop this video on BitChute a man is taking this video. He's walking through an area that was burned out. It, it, you know, these, okay. Paradise. The campfire. It was, yeah, a campfire that I guess got out of control. And then in 24 hours, it took out a town. Literally took out Paradise. California. Homes flattened in 24 hours. And I don't, need, I don't even know what to say about this. We are not hearing from our mainstream media reporters talking about people not being able to escape. Well, 
if you click on the link below to this video, you will see footage of people dead in their cars, unable to get out of the fire. These fires started abruptly. They were magnificently powerful. People unable to get out. So you see literally skeletons sitting in cars. How many animals? And I got a comment from someone underneath one of my videos. I guess it was the video where I showed the man in paradise and he was crying because he couldn't get his cows out. And this person was saying, no excuse. You, you never leave your animals behind. There are excuses. When these things occur so rapidly that you are trying to escape as quickly as you possibly can. How do you move cows? How do you move horses? How do you move large animals when we know that these fires are being deliberately set and people have no time at all? Um, I really think that people really need to watch what they are writing. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor. We are going to begin here with the fires raging in California. Two of them exploded in size with frightening speed. Together, they have now burned more than 100,000 acres just since yesterday. Tonight, 100,000 acres just since yesterday. And people are not asking questions. This doesn't beg questions in people's minds. That something is not quite right in terms of it being a natural wildfire. And isn't it interesting that these wildfires seem to be now taking place in densely pop populated areas. I, I don't know what to do because we do need, we need our fellow Americans tonight to be asking questions, uh, to their fire chiefs and well I have images in my head of all Americans going down you know you have your your meetings you question the fire chief with all of these anomalies that are taking place and uh, Americans who will actually have meetings with their local meteorologist, you show them the footage of, of rain being stopped right before it gets to Ventura County, and voila, you've got that fire, massive fire. But it's not possible. It's just not possible. My God, I am so upset after I saw images of those people in their cars there from the uh, bit shoot. <sighs> All right. Yeah, my, my videos, they are what they are. I don't. You want to see manufactured weather? 
You like that round blob of snow? You see all of the fanned out, faded, very defined lines. Oh, you see this little round dot. Okay, extremely low frequencies being set off very powerfully. And Canada, man, you know, you, you think about these birds, right? All of the birds that were dropping dead. You have your uh, extremely low frequencies being set off so powerfully. Like every, every night, every weather event, they're right there. Look at this. You get a flock of birds that get hit with these extremely low frequencies and they're dead. But every, here, I mean, Canada, you're loaded with them. Quebec. So I'm not going to, all of the very defined lines, the right angled weather events, none of this is Mother Nature. All of this is absolutely 100% manufactured by man and controlled by man. And this is what we have to live because we just have an awful lot of our fellow uh, Canadians, Americans, Brits, Scots, the Irish, well, it doesn't matter, the Welsh, the, oh God, the Danes, every, you know, we just have populations filled with incredibly Um, just people who have given up on thinking. The frequencies with every weather event. You can see the microwaves, all of the dark green ripples right here, microwaves being used as well. You can see it throughout. So no, we can't get any of this stopped. We can't get any of it stopped. Because we don't have the numbers that we need. So more and more people will die, be destroyed. And that's very upsetting to me. All links are below.